Welcome to Children's Time. I'm glad that you're with me today. Let's learn a lesson together about Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of God, and God would tell him things, and then he would pass on God's message to others. In this story, there's going to be a widow. A widow is a woman whose husband has died. And in this story, she has a son. We can also know that during this time, there was a famine. Now, a famine is a time that's really difficult for lots of people. It means that there's not been enough rain for the crops to grow, and so everything dries up and there's not enough food around. So what happened in this story was God told Elijah to go to this small town called Zarephath and that he would find a widow who would take care of him. Now, let's see what happens in the scriptures. When he came to the town, I'm reading out of the Adventure Bible. When he came to the town of Zarephath, he saw a widow gathering sticks. He said, would you bring me a little water in a jar so I can have a drink? So she went to go get it. And then he said, also, please bring me a little bread. And she said, as surely as your Lord God lives, I do not have bread. I'm going to make one last little loaf of bread for my son, and then we will die. We have no food. Oh, you would think Elijah would say, okay, I understand. You go ahead. But no, God told him to tell her, please make that bread for me first. God will take care of you. Wow, don't be afraid, he says. Make me the bread first. That must have seemed like such a strange thing to her. She's about to die because she has no way of taking care of herself or her son. And she's got her little tiny bit of flour and a little bit of oil, and she's going to make their last meal. And here comes this stranger telling you to do something that was very strange. That would be feeding him first. You know, a lot of times in life, there can be times where things just don't make sense. In this time when you've been home from school or you've had school at home, there's been a lot of different kinds of feelings and we kind of wonder what's going on. It's a good time to ask God, what is it you want us to learn from this time? We don't understand and we don't always know how to obey when we don't even know what we're trying to do. So let's see what happens when this lady has a decision to make. Does she do what the man of God says to do or does she do her own idea? Well, she gathered her sticks, the scripture says. You have sticks in your backyard. Maybe you'd like to pretend and do this kind of like a little play at your house. You gather some sticks, you can get some flour or some cornmeal, get some oil, and you can pretend that you are going to do this Bible story too. Elijah says, don't be afraid, go home and do as you have said, but first make a small cake of bread for me, and when you have it, you can give something to your son and yourself. But she only had enough for him one more little cake, one more little loaf of bread. So what happens? Well, the Lord said to Elijah, tell her, this is what the Lord God of Israel says. The little jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the Lord ends the famine and the rain will come on the land again. So she went away and did as Elijah had told her. And there was food enough for her and for her family until the famine was over. So here she didn't even have enough for herself. And yet she decided to trust the man of God, Elijah, and was able to have enough for herself and her family until the famine was over. Wow, we don't always know why God tells us to do things. We learn that we need to be dependent on him. He knows way more than we do. And so we can trust him to guide us through the people who love him and those God puts in our path. Let's pray and ask God 
for his help as we learn to be dependent on him, especially when it doesn't make sense. Father, I pray for our families and all who are listening. Would you please guide us and protect us through this time? We are dependent on you to help us, not only with food, but our shelter, knowing what to do with jobs and all the different kinds of things that we face each day. I pray that you would guide the parents and grandparents, all of the leaders who are in our city and in our country. We thank you for the ways that you do take care of us. and We ask your guidance and strength to trust you for the days ahead. We love you. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to sign up for Fun Mail. I love sending you things and you can, if this is new to you, you can find the email address at the end of the video. Have a great week, everybody.